Okay, so today I'm sure about T105 Presents, or T Bone, I guess, which he goes by now. He's a really old school Minecraft YouTuber that I used to watch back in the day. He's one of the first people who got me interested in Minecraft, especially the Pixelmon. So you can thank him for all my ability in building Pixelmon. And I just want to, I want to make amends to the bad tutorial I did for him. Anyway, the blocks you need are black concrete, black blue terracotta, blue concrete, blue wool, blue concrete powder, clay block, strip jungle wood, white concrete, brown terracotta, brown concrete, brown wool, and brown powder. Those little blocks you need to pause now to grab all of them. Okay, the first nine blocks you need is your black concrete to your brown terracotta, so grab that now. Once done, grab your black concrete and go eight in a row, just like so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pop out the three on both sides and connect it. Get your black concrete and do another row all the way around. On the front row, get your light blue terracotta and go all the way across. Go to the sides, pop out one, then get your black concrete and fill the rest in. Like so. Once done, you can drop your light blue terracotta. On the front row, get your blue concrete and go three rows. One, two, three. On the end bits, go up two blue concrete, just like so. The next, uh, the next column next to it, get your blue wool, go up three, and go in one towards the body on the top block. Next column, fill it in with two blue powder. Let me get your blue concrete and fill it in. Just like so. And now go up three more rows of blue concrete. One, two, three. Let me double check it's 12 blocks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, let's go on the side now. Side extremely simple. Just fill it all the way up with blue concrete. Once you get to the max height that we've already had set. Same on the other side, it's all blue concrete. It's all the way up. Okay, now the back side. Start off, get your blue concrete and go all the way across for one row. The next on the end, get your blue wool, go two, and go in one on the top block towards the body. And these singular gaps underneath the blue wool, place the blue powder. Get your blue concrete and fill in the middle with a square. Now do four rows of blue concrete in the middle. One, two, three, four. Place the blue powder in the corners. Then on top and towards the side that goes inside the body, place the blue wool. Then fill that six block gap in with blue concrete. Just like so. Move back to the front. Get your blue concrete and go up two more rows. On the back side, place two more rows of blue concrete as well. Okay, get your placement block, and right here, pop out four, and go in three. The same on the opposite side, go out four, and go in three. Then, with the strip jungle wood, place one block on top of each placement block, one by one. Do not spam hold it, because then wood will face in different directions, just like that. And you don't want that. Sure, it's a minor mistake, and the jungle wood's the hardest one to see with, but it's still noticeable. Now on this hand as well, just like so, and break the place in blocks. Okay. Next, get your blue wool and go all the way across on top of the blue pants. Get your clay block, go all the way across. Do two rows of blue wool on top of that. Do a row of clay block on top of that. Do a row of blue wool on top of that. On the ends, go up one blue wool, and in the middle, place four blue wool, giving you two gaps. Get your black concrete, place one in each gap, and then pop it out. On top of that black concrete, place a blue wool, and on either side of the blue wool, place a black concrete. And the black concrete farthest away from the body, go up two on top of it. Place a clay block on top of the blue wool, and a blue wool on either side of the clay block. Place two clay blocks in the middle, and place six strip jungle wood in the middle right here. Just like so. 
Okay. Now get your jungle wood and right here to this second clay on the body, right above it on this blue wool, go all the way up to this height. Like so. Just go all the way up around on the arms. On both arms, just like so. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. And all the way up. And it should look something like this so far. Okay. Next draw on the arms, go blue wool. Then clay block. Then two rows of blue wool. Just doing the same pattern over and over again. Blue wool. Clay block. Two rows of blue wool. As the front of T-Bone 105 presents done, pause it if you need to. Okay. The sides, extremely simple, just like the legs, just repeat the same pattern over and over again. Starting off by getting your strip wood to the max height, then go across with blue wool, clay, and two rows of blue wool. Same for the opposite side on the other arm. Strip jungle wood to the max height, blue wool all the way across, then clay block, then two rows of blue wool. And the back side couldn't be any more simpler. Start off, get your strip jungle wood and go to the max height on both arms, just like so. All the way up, all the way up, and all the way up. Then repeat the same pattern that's in the front. Start off blue wool on the bottom, then clay block, then two rows of blue wool, then a row of clay block, then two rows of blue wool, all the way across, including the arms, and then clay block all the way across. Then two rows of blue wool all the way across. Just like so. As the back of T-Bone 105 presents done, pause if you need to. Okay. And the shoulder blades are pretty simple. You don't need to do this, but it is on his skin. There's a row of clay block on the second row of his body. But it looks kind of weird because, you know, it's us it's here as well, but you can't really do that unless you prefer to place it like this. Which I think is just hideous. So if you just want to make it all blue wool, I don't think it really makes that make it, uh, big of a difference. Okay, once now we move on to his head. Start off, you could drop your blue wool and blue concrete. Let's reorganize the inventory now. You could also drop your clay. Mm -hmm. Brown over here. Okay, start off, get your placement block. Pop out one, and just go like this on the front. Place place some blocks here, then pop out two on the back. Pop out one on the back, and then two on the ends, like so. And it should look something like this. Okay. Now with your strip jungle wood, place one on top of each placing block. Just like so. Once again, make sure you're not holding it down and just spamming it, because then it will face in different directions, and you don't want that. Once done, you could break the placing blocks just like so. Of course, you don't need to break the placement blocks that's inside the body, in the middle of the head, because no one's going to see those, like these ones. Okay. Now we can start on the, uh, on the head. Start off, go in three strip jungle wood from the right, and break three. And get your black concrete, place three there, and it pours, uh, no, diagonally to the top right, place the black concrete. I always forget the word. Next row is all strip jungle wood. And so is the next row as well. On top of where the black concrete is out diagonally, place the black concrete above it. Skip two blocks over and place the black concrete. Once done, you can drop that. Get your blue powder and place one on top of the black concrete. Once done, you can drop that. Get your white concrete and place two on either on one side going out towards the body with your white concrete for the eyes. Once done, you can drop that and fill the next two rows in with shrimp jungle wood. Now from either side of the white concrete, complete it, not yeah, complete it, filled across with shrimp jungle wood. Like so. Okay. Get your brown terracotta, and this bottom corner right here, place one. And on the far right corner right here, place the brown concrete. For the hair, I'm gonna go left to right. So, right here, brown wool, brown concrete, brown terracotta, Brown concrete, brown powder, brown concrete, two brown terracotta. 
Next row. Two brown wool. Brown powder. Three brown concrete. Two brown wool. As to find a T-bone, I guess. T-bone, 105% stun. Pause if you need to. Actually, I made a mistake. This is supposed to be two, not three. I don't know why I thought it was three. That looks way better now. Okay. Get your strip jungle wood. Move it all the way until you have a three block gap right here. Then make a square right here. Do the same for the opposite side. Move it until there's a three block gap there. And make a square. Once it's done, you can drop your strip jungle wood. Once again, left to right. Two brown wool. Brown terracotta. Next row. Brown powder. Brown wool. Brown powder. Brown concrete. Brown terracotta. Next row. Brown powder. Two brown concrete. Brown powder. Brown concrete. Next row. Brown powder. Two brown concrete. Brown powder. Brown concrete. Brown powder. Brown terracotta. Next row. Brown wool. Brown powder, brown wool, brown concrete, brown powder, brown concrete, brown powder. Next row. Brown er, brown concrete, two brown wool, two brown concrete, brown wool, brown powder. Next row. Brown concrete, two brown powder, brown wool, brown terracotta, brown concrete. Let's move on to the other side of the head. Just like so. So this time I'm gonna start from right to left because it just makes more sense than left to right because then I'd be decreasing, that wouldn't make any sense. Three brown terracotta. Oh, I made a mistake once again. <laughs> yeah, for some reason this head is actually different and it's not two across, it's one across on the other side on the left side of this head. I don't know if that's a mistake on this part, but that's just how it is on the thing I can see. Then one brown concrete. Next row. One brown terracotta. Three brown concrete. One brown wool. Next row. Two brown concrete. One brown powder. One brown wool. One brown concrete. Next row. Two brown powder. Two brown wool. Brown powder. Brown concrete. Brown wool. Next row. Three brown wool. Three brown powder. Brown wool. Next row, brown wool, brown powder, brown concrete, two brown wool, two brown powder. Next row, three brown powder, brown concrete, three brown powder, three brown wool, my bad. Okay, now you can move on to his backside. Once again, this time I'm going to do right to left. Okay, three brown concrete, brown terracotta. Next row. Two brown wool, brown concrete, two brown terracotta, brown concrete. Next row, brown powder, brown concrete, brown terracotta, three brown concrete. Next row, brown concrete, brown terracotta, two brown powder, brown wool, brown terracotta. Next row, brown terracotta, two brown concrete, brown powder, brown wool, brown terracotta. Next row, two brown concrete, brown powder, two brown concrete, brown wool. Next row, brown concrete, brown powder, brown concrete, brown terracotta, two brown wool. Next row, brown powder, five brown wool. Okay. And to finish off T-bone, go to the top of his head, once again, starting from left to right this time, from the back side. Brown wool, underneath, placement block, brown powder. Three brown wool, placement block, brown powder. Next row, brown concrete, placement block, brown powder. Three brown concrete, brown wool. Next row, brown wool, brown concrete, placement block, brown powder, brown concrete, Place some block, brown powder, brown concrete. Next row, brown concrete, two place some blocks, two brown powder, brown concrete, brown terracotta, place some block, 
brown powder. Next row, brown wool, placing block, brown powder, brown concrete, brown wool, brown terracotta, brown wool. Next row, three brown concrete, placing block, brown powder, brown concrete, and brown wool to finish it off. And with that, T-Bone105 presents slash T-Bone I guess is done. This is not a request, I just wanted to redo him to make him a better tutorial and a better skin. If you know where Minecraft skins are, you just want to do, I can do it, or at least I can try.